So guys, right, improving your ball striking, getting this through position in a wonderful area, it just sets off a, a tremendous chain reaction at your impact, and it makes the swing also look much, much better. There's a couple of checkpoints here. You just have to have them. I'm gonna show you a couple of things here that's really interesting through the golf ball as we look at some of the best players, and the closer you get to these positions, people, the better you're gonna hit it. You have to have some checkpoints in the swing, it's essential. We're gonna be looking at how much of this lead arm that you should see. We're gonna be looking at the shoulder plane and exactly where that is. Now this is a flattening characteristic. It's also gonna pick up your speed, your balance, and just really, as I said, improve your all round ball striking. So let's have a peek at some of the best players in the world as we look at the averages of movement, really the evidence-based material, guys. We're gonna give you a couple of checkpoints, a couple of drills. There's a few things in the swing you just have to get right to hit great shots. Let's have a look. So hi everyone, right, we're gonna take you through the averages of movement. I've got a couple of positions here that you've never seen before. And it's just to really improve your all-round ball striking. We're also gonna look at some club players and we've got some great drills and feels for you later on in the video. Let's have a look when the arms are parallel to the ground here. One of the major checkpoints in the goal swing. We can see that this is the area we're talking about here when the arms are parallel to the ground. And what we're gonna do here is just simply get on the back of the shoulder and draw a line down from the back of the ribs and we can see where this is pointing. Okay, now this is gonna get you some great separation. This is helps you shallow or flatten out your plane. We've got lateral movement with the bottom half, but to create that separation, one of the major hallmarks of great ball striking, this position is really essential for so many of you out there. What we're seeing, we can see that we see a large portion of the lead arm here into this area, we see that the shoulder is up extremely high and we're getting this left side to lift up and here's your checkpoint, this area here. Let's have a look at a couple more players here. We had to take a peek at Ian Poulter through the golf ball, one of the best iron players really over the last 20 years. This guy in greens and regulations has been absolutely remarkable. Arms parallel to the ground, lying down from the back of the back. This is a repeating theme, something that we're seeing over and over with really solid swings from great players all around the world. Arm parallel, lying down from the back. We've got four to six inches of lateral shift here. What about Cameron Smith? I mean, how good is this guy? He's just shot 34 under par. The lowest score of all time. You can see him moving through the ball. Great extension. Look at this moving up. Arms parallel to the ground here. Look how high that shoulder is. You see a large part of the lead arm. Now, where are the club golfers? Well, guys, the closer you get to some of these positions, the better you hit it. We're seeing arms parallel. We're not seeing much of the lead arm. And unfortunately, we're seeing lines down like this. Big gap between the knees. And, you know, improving your game by 5%, 7%, 12%. Through here, we're seeing almost a lot of the time lines pointing back in the other direction here, not creating the separation that really that we're after through the golf ball. See around this position here, the gap between the knees. You're chipping away at your golf, right? You're working on positions and uh, you have to understand that it's not all just from the backswing, the plane line. You've got to get your geometry right. You can see this position here, gap not closed up. Let's have a look how we can feel this, practice this, get moving in the right direction. Worldclassgolf.com, 1,000 videos, guys. Work with a plan, work with a purpose. You just love hitting golf balls. Right, guys, let's have a look at this drill. Interesting clip, wasn't it, when we're looking at uh, this type of position. Here's how we can get in there and uh, feel this position this drill. Take your address position, pop the club in front of the ball and what we're doing is we're getting this lead side to extend and your arms are very very straight. Right? You're extending your arms, you're extending this left side. It's almost like you're punching someone. Right? You're getting this right leg to move in, this hip is it's staying back. This is a great way to learn to rotate through the ball. Right, when you're getting this left side up, it's really easy to open up this left pec, your, your torso and your hips, and it really helps the club come in behind the hand. So it's in that zone in coming into here. When I get the top half moving this way too far, it's obviously bringing the club out. So it's one of those effects that helps us shallow. So let's have a look. Club in front of the golf ball. We'll move up until the arms are about parallel to the ground and we're seeing a large part of this arm, the left 
the left side's very high. We're seeing the left shoulder up very high and it's almost like we're giving this, this punch, this uppercut or this punch into the stomach and this is what's bringing, closing up the gap with your knees and your arms along. Now we did a video called front, was front end therapy. If you can just get, feel, see how my arms are straight there. Sometimes when you move back and then through, you can create new sensations that you normally wouldn't have. And it's about awareness, isn't it? Being aware of your body, aware of position. So when you're practicing, you're improving every, every area. So we start off, move through. If I get a line down from the back, of my ribs here, it's gonna be pointing out in front of my foot. And just do a, a bit of a half swing at the start, just to get the sensation. And you're trying to get those arms long, get that ribs or that arch of your back, getting that separation. You need this separation from your top half to your bottom half. Such an important area. Lots of little practice swings. We start to get the, the feel and then move in through the golf ball. And you start to get this left side, it really extending up a lot of this lead arm, a lot of positions, front end therapy, starting at the start, working your way back, heaps of practice swings, heaps of balls. Once you get this position moving, you're really gonna notice there's gonna be more snap, speed with that club head. It's really gonna whip through the ball. It's also gonna improve your angle of attack and the entry into the golf ball. Let's now have a look at another drill from the wall here when we see what the shoulders, also how we can move the shoulders more effectively. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. So guys, we've got a really good drill here to create some great sensations. Also into your backswing, your through swing. One side complements the other. Take your lob wedge or your sand iron. And what you're gonna do is put, place it across the top of your chest so that the, the whole of the grip for the right hander is on the outside of your right shoulder. I'll say it that way for the left handers. You guys know what I mean. Now, what we do is we get ourselves in and you can put a cap on so your cap touches the wall. And what we're trying to do essentially is get this pivot correct so that the lob wedge won't touch the wall. This will get some symmetrical knee work, it gets the right hip up, gets the left hip moving down, which is around seven centimeters. And from here, one side complements the other. Okay, moving through and into impact, we don't want this right shoulder or the grip to come out and hit the wall. That gets the left hip too low, that gets the right hip too high, and gets the shoulders moving in the wrong direction. Once again, moving under, pivoting correctly, and then through and down and into impact. And we've got a great position here with this shoulder. And getting your tilts correct is what helps us really open up through the golf ball. Getting your left pec, getting your torso to turn, getting the correct tilts helps us turn. You can turn faster. You've got something to turn against. And these big, clear pictures, these great drills are fantastic. guys. Worldclassgolf.com has over a thousand videos. There's drills, there's exercises, and there's plenty more coming. And we've got Dr. Robert J. Neal currently making some great videos for us. And uh, he's gonna be supplying just some amazing evidence-based material. This platform is not just for golfers, really. It's also for instructors or people just getting their hands on great information, working with a plan. Jumping from video to video, there's these four or five positions you need in a golf swing. We're showing people, in fact, how to self-coach, film, lines, angles. We're partners with V1 Golf as well. We've got some great deals. It, is a, it really is a very exciting platform that's continuing to grow. Lots of stuff coming your way. There's an online lesson deal there. If you want online lessons, I'm teaching people from all around the world. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.